All right, so lots of people have been asking me to try hard Mathler. Now this is just like regular Mathler, except we have eight squares to fill instead of the usual six, seven, what do we normally have? I think it's six normally. Uh, and we also have the parentheses here. So that gives us a lot more things that we can do. Now our total needs to be 949, which is pretty big. Okay, what if we did 431 times two, that's gonna let us use one, two, three, and four. That would be 862. So then we can add, what would it be? 87, I think? That's gonna let us check one, two, three, four, seven, and eight, and multiplication and addition. That seems like a good start. Okay, so there is a one, two, three, four. We are multiplying somewhere, but we're not doing a three digit multiplied. So maybe like a two digit times a two digit? We're not adding, so we could do two digit times two digit and then subtract, that seems like a good next guess. So the trick is I need to, in order to do that, I need two digit times two digit to be somewhere between 949 and 1049, because I can only then subtract a two digit number. What about something like, if I add 91, that's 1040. That seems like I should be able to do two digit times a two digit to get 1,040. I would need to use a two, three, and a four in there. So we could do 26 times 40 and subtract 91. Now we don't have the three in there, so it's obviously not right, but we do check more locations for the two and the four and the one when we check if there's a six or a nine, and we can also check the multiplication of the subtraction. So I feel like that's not a terrible second guess. Even though I know it's wrong, it'll get us a lot more information. So I'm gonna go with that, okay. Okay, so, ooh, maybe it's two times something. Ah, we could be doing two times a three-digit number. Oh, we're not subtracting. Interesting. So we've gotta multiply and then divide, maybe? Or, hmm, or we could multiply twice, maybe, I guess. So it's got to be two times something, and then divided by something else? But if we do two times a three-digit number and then divide, we're dividing by a two-digit number at the end, and two times a three-digit number isn't going to get us big enough that we can then divide by a two-digit number to get back to 949. So maybe two times a four-digit number? That's possible. We do like, oh, but it can't be 1,000 and something because the one can't be right here, so it would have to be like, 2,000 and something. It's possible. Like, we don't have a zero, six, seven, or eight. So we've only got one, two, three, four, five, and nine to work with. Something like this. I don't know that this is gonna work, but something like 2,300 and, you know, 51. That would be 4,702. And then divide by, you know, like three or something. So what we need is a four digit number that is a factor of a multiple of 949. <laughs> well, in fact, it's half of a multiple of 949 is what we need. So let's think about multiples of 949. Um, I'm actually gonna open up a notepad window and write these down. So 949, and then you could do all right, so what I've done is uh, I added to the screen here, but I've worked out the multiples of 949. That's the left column. And then the right column is those numbers divided by two. Now I only did some of them because uh, it only matters, like some of these are odd, so you obviously can't divide it by two evenly. Um, and this one is gonna be, um, this one's gonna be a three digit number. This one is gonna be something in the thousands. And we know already that there's no one in this position. So what I want is a, a multiple of 949 and then divide it by two, because if we do two times a four digit number divided by a single digit, if you work that backward, you're taking 949 times that single digit to get two times the four digit number, and then we divide by two. So if we take 949 times a single digit, divide by two and get a number that we can use, which I think 3790, no, 3796 doesn't work because we don't have a six. So what about 4745? 4745 would work. So if we do 4745 divided by nine. So 949 times nine 
is 9490. Then we divide by two, we get 4745. So therefore, if you work it backwards, 4745 times two divided by nine should equal 949. I think that's gonna have to be the answer. Oh, that's divided by 10. That's not nine times 949, that's 10 times 949. But none of the other options work. Okay, well that was a waste of time then. Um, if it's not two times, it's gotta be two times, because otherwise it's a four digit times something. That's possible actually. Four digit times something divided by a single digit. That's essentially what we were trying to do. We just had it flip flop the four digit and the single digit. So if we're not multiplying by two, now we can we can still use these options here because you're still doing divided by a single digit at the end. So you're still doing the part on the left is a multiple of 949. But this time we can divide by three or four or something instead of just two. So 3796, you could divide by three, but you're still gonna be in the, ooh, but we can, oh, we have to be in the 2000s this time. Divide by three to be in the 2000s. Maybe this one, 7592, that one's not a multiple of three. 6643, what about this one? Is this a multiple of three? No, yeah, yeah, this one's a multiple of three. Okay, if we divide 5694 by three, it's gonna be too small, isn't it? Yeah, in order to be in the 2000s, you've gotta be above 6,000 and below 9,000. 8541, what's 8541 divided by three? All right, 8541 divided by three is 2847. Ah, but we can't use eight and seven. The problem is if we go bigger than, th if we go bigger than three, now we're getting into something that's gonna have to be divided by a two digit number. So that doesn't work. Okay, so what we need to do then is divide and then multiply. So we need to divide to end up with a factor of 949 then. But the problem is there aren't really very many factors of 949. I think it's 13 times 73 is the only way to do it. Hmm. This is a tricky one. 243 divided by three, that would be 81. But the problem is, again, Factors of 949 are only 13 and 73. So we need something that divides to get 13. No, we can't multiply by 73. We can multiply by 13 though. So something that divides to get 73. 200 something that divides to get 73. So two, 280. Uh, two, no, 290, uh, 73, 73 times four would be 292 divided by four. That would give us 73 times 13. That might actually work. Let's try that. Oh, that was it. Wow, that was a tough one. I don't know, maybe I just had the wrong approach early on, but that one seemed really tough for some reason. I went down a rabbit hole with the... <laughs> <laughs> multiples of 949 that let us nowhere but uh yeah let me know how you did with this hard mathler and uh if you had a better approach or yeah how it went for you and uh i'll see you again soon with some more puzzles thanks bye